Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. Good morning, if you're over the other side of the world. Um, just thought I'd give a uh, little bit of a uh, fleet update, really, because uh, a lot as you know, I do own this Alpha 166, and uh, it's currently wintering at the moment because I don't want to use uh, my older cars in the uh, in the winter. And uh, it's due its MOT in a couple of weeks, which I should be doing myself. And I've just spent today doing an awful lot of uh, detailing and replacing parts underneath on the suspension uh, to make the car better, to future-proof it, and to make sure it uh, looks well for its MOT and car shows, etc. And, uh, a lot of detailing underneath, polishing all the exhaust up, and just treated it to four new tyres. Uh, had the front brake calipers redone in stove enamel paint. I'm um, just waiting for the decals to come, etc. etc. Let's uh, show you a quick glimpse underneath. See what it looks like. I don't see much hammering out, but yeah. If you get in there, so it's got uh, very nice leather interior. It is the 3-litre Busso engine, I'll show you that in a moment, and I just can't wait to start using it a little bit more. Look in there in a minute. Yeah, as I say, it's got uh, the four-part Brembo brakes on, and uh, just treated it to some new bridge stones all around, so that'll be nice. The, uh, the Xenon headlights at the front are one of the best looking engines in the world, in my opinion. Looking and sounding very nice. Now I've got a few bits that I want to do underneath here. Um, I'm trying to source a new um, header tank uh, that's not full of uh, discoloration and stuff like that. And I have a new air intake hose on order from Alpha. Because uh, that one has split in place, it's held together with tape. It's not really detrimental, but it's just not good enough for a show car. Um, I do intend at some point to, uh, I've got the budget for it, to uh, get the car painted. Because uh, it is nice, but uh, we do have a little bit of, uh, of a lacquer issue on the roof. But, uh, it's not. Uh, rusting through or anything, it's just where the paint's getting old and it's had a lot of polish over the years. Sit inside. Yeah. The engine light's on because I have had uh, bits and bobs disconnected under the uh, the bonnet today for doing maintenance etc. But uh, I'll just plug that in on the Pico shortly and get it uh, switched off. And, uh, Current mileage of 169,636, which is, well, high or low mileage really, it's the way you want to look at it. It's high for one of these, but with the amount of stuff that's been done on this car over the years, it's actually pretty low. And uh, with all the new parts and rebuild engine and etc, etc, it's all very nice. But, um, it's very nice. I'm going to get uh, this restitched eventually and trying to find a new fascia because uh, it's just showing its age in a little bit in places which is fine, I'm not overly fussed about it but as I say it's an Alpha 166 and you don't see many of them yeah it is uh, it is very good and uh, this car is going to be um, filmed uh, in about a month's time for um, Mr. Joseph Lloyd and Tweed Drackett Reviews and uh, myself included with an interview etc etc along with the uh, Amiga as well but, uh, yeah just thought I'd check in and give a bit of a walk around of the car and uh, you know when the summer comes you'll be able to see uh, a lot more of it but uh, very few of these pre facelift Alpha 166's still remain because well Let's face it, if you bought one new, um, you'd probably sign your cheque with a crayon because you'd be a bit special. 
uh, because they were £35,000 new or thereabouts, particularly for a full spec Sportronic Luso one like this. But the depreciation was absolutely phenomenal because 12 months down the line they were worth £11,000. Now that is just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and, um, Say not many, uh, not many were sold when they were new, and due to the vast price and what, well, you know, there's uh, a lot of other cars and stuff that you can get at the time that were uh, really a lot better than this, like the BMW M5, Mercedes E-Class, BMW 7 Series even, you know. But, uh, so there's very few of them uh, remain, and yeah, well, I absolutely adore this car, and. I intend to keep it for many years to come and uh, you know, I shall be doing a few uh, alpha shows with it over the summer and doing a lot of miles uh, just you know visiting shows and having a uh, having a good time with it and um, it's going to um, a show up north with um, Club Alpha UK uh, in May uh, for a uh, bit of a get together and a photo shoot um, it'd be nice to see actually how many 166s do go because, uh, as I say, they are a very, very rare car now. And um, finding a decent one that's rust-free, it's yeah, it's getting very difficult. And um, I'm, yeah, it's a great pleasure to own this car. And um, the best way to describe owning a 166, particularly with a three-liter Busso engine in it. It's like somebody giving you a hand grenade without a pin. It is going to explode on you, but you just don't know when. And it's my intention to keep this going as long as humanly possible. And, um, yeah, you know, a little bit more content in. But I'll say, I've got uh, the brakes have just been done. Uh, I'm just waiting for the decals to turn up from Alpha so I can stick the white Alpha Romeo logos back on the front calipers. And also, as well, the car is going to be going to um, the NEC uh, Practical Classics Restoration Show, uh, which is the last weekend in March uh, 2020. And uh, the show's open on the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, I say it is the last weekend in March, I can't remember the dates. I think it's the 29th, 30th, and 28th, 29th and 30th of March 2020, the NEC. Uh, in Birmingham, uh, there'll be lots of other cars there as well, lots of other club stands, and uh, this car will be there um, with my club, Leicestershire Classic Car Enthusiasts. And um, yeah, as I say, with it being a restoration show, we have to have a live working stand. And because the front brakes are now all brand new, um, I am going to be replacing the rear brakes, calipers, caliper carriers, discs, and pads on the back to match the front. And uh, yeah, so if anybody does want to come, uh, yeah, I think we're in hole five, I believe. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks very much. Cheers.